Google Docs is a great way to create block letter or business letter formats. You have an assignment here coming up where you have to organize a letter into the block letter format with the correct sequence of what goes where. And I just want to give you a really quick tutorial on how to move things and some formatting issues with Google Docs. So here's a document. It's in complete disarray. We've got addresses and salutations and date and then the body, but they're not in the correct order. And we also have some things that are single space, space and some things that are double space. If you notice from the top of the document, you see this is an Arial and it's an 11. So we need to make sure that we fix that correctly right, right away. So I'm going to highlight all of my material. And the easiest way to highlight is to push the control button down and push the letter A for all. Control A highlights everything. And now once it's highlighted, I can come up here to my font. And I remember from the video that block letters or business letters are typed in Times New Roman. So I can click on that. And then I can also click on 12 font because that's what the correct font and size is for block letters. All right, now I'm going to click off of the blue sort of away from the document. So now none of it is highlighted. I also remember from the letter that the first thing that comes is my address. And so my name is Mrs. Goody Do Good, and I live at 313 Pine Road in Russell Rim, Washington. You guys have been on videos with me before, you know that's not who I am, but hey, we're gonna go with it. So notice that here it is like, it looks like there's double space. So there's a couple different things I can try. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna highlight. So I'm gonna left click and then highlight this section with my cursor. And I'm gonna come up here to where that says line spacing. I'm gonna click on line spacing and I'm gonna hit single. So that fixed it a little bit, but didn't fix it how I want it. So I wanna show you that sometimes the format in Google Docs has to do with this remove space or add space before paragraph. So if you keep your thing highlighted and you hit remove space after paragraph, that's when it kind of scrunches that up to the single spacing that you want. That's good. Okay, so we need to move this. So it's the very first thing. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to hold down my control button and just push C as in cut or C as in cat. I'm gonna hit my control button, push it down, hold it, C as in cat. That cuts something or copies it. Now I can come up here where I want it. I'm gonna press enter, make myself some space. And then I'm going to hit my control button again and push V as in Victor. I don't know why it's control V, it just is, but control V will paste what you have copied. Control V for paste. All right, I'm there, good. Now remember from the video that I have the my address first and then I skip a line and I put the address you can come back down here and you don't need this Mrs. Goody Do Good. Delete that. She's out of there. After the address comes the date and then it comes the person that I am writing. So I am writing to the daily news. I'm going to copy this. So control C for copy. I'm also going to just delete it since it's already highlighted. Hit my backspace. Boom. It's gone. Okay. I'm going to come up here to my date hit enter, hit enter again, because I want to leave another space, and then I'm going to push control V for Victor to paste it. All right, we're moving along. Okay, so let's say I screw up and I paste the wrong thing. No worries, you have this cool undo button. You just click it, boom, it goes away. Click it again, it undoes the last things you did. So we can go all the way back. So Google Docs is amazing love it. All right, I showed you how to highlight, how to move some things around, how to do some formatting, so now you're prepared for your assignments. Have fun.